today is makeover day. I have a painting that is an older painting that I'm excited to share with you and I am going to work through redoing this painting. So this is a painting from a year and a half ago and when I painted this I was really happy with it and I felt really good about the bee and I wasn't quite sure what kind of background to put in and I just put a really flat green. You know I never really liked it and I should have done something with it, but I acted in fear. I was too afraid that if I went in and if I changed this background on this bee, that I was gonna ruin the bee, which I was really happy with. I was gonna ruin the painting. And so I just, I kind of had like an action paralysis due to fear. So I left it as is and you know, I've put this painting out in, into the world and it's been appreciated. People have liked it, but nobody's loved it. I purchased it and the prints don't even do well. So I decided that I'm just gonna take a chance, that I'm going to act more on my creative instinct and get back in there and change this painting. So it was varnished, so I had to go through and remove the varnish. I used Gamblin's Gam um, the Gamsol to remove it. It's just mineral spirits, odorless mineral spirits. And then I went through and started working on this new background. My idea with the background was a type of like honeycomb type feeling, but I didn't want more colors taking away from the beautiful colors on this bee. So I opted to make it more of a monochromatic background so the bee stood out, uh, which is really funny because it's such a different feeling, uh, a different aesthetic than what it originally was. You know, but I think that's it. It's like, I think that I was never really acting on my artist intuition. I was acting more out of just fear. And, you know, I, I obviously ended up with a product I wasn't happy with. So here I am acting more on my instinct and what feels good, what feels right to me. And, uh, you know, I think it's, I, I love the way it turned out. So you can see here, I'm just going in and adding in this honeycomb structure and I'll have a hang out for a bit and watch it. So as I was working through on this, I had the feeling that I was going to be touching up the bee because I figured once I went in and changed the background that I was gonna no longer be happy with the bee. Uh, or mind you, this is a painting from a year and a half ago. You know, I've completed hundreds of paintings since then, and so my skill set has grown, which is so cool. But that means that I need to go back in and just go ahead and readdress the bee. Uh, but you'll see I run into an issue here is I don't have the reference photo for the bee anymore, which is a bit of a problem. Okay, got phase one of this makeover done and now I'm gonna start working on the bee. The biggest challenge about the bee is I don't have this reference photo anymore. So we'll see how it goes. I remembered that I had gotten the reference photo from a uh, royalty-free photo website, so either at pexels.com or Unsplash. So that's where I went ahead went and started looking for bee photos. And I was able to find some bees and that made me feel confident at first in approaching this bee, and, but nothing was quite the same like even look species. I mean, there's tons and tons of species. So you can see I'm going through on my iPad here and I am searching. I'm searching through my Google photos. I am searching through these websites. And I obviously, I couldn't take it anymore. I had to go find it. And I thought I'm gonna go open up my old laptop and I'm gonna look there. Good news. I found my reference photo. I found it on my old, I found this on my old laptop. Thank goodness it was still there after I had even done a reset on it. And so it's gonna sit down there while I paint. All right, we are in business now. I found this reference photo. I was so excited to find it because I felt a lot more confident going into this bee and touching it up. I knew that I could really make a difference with it and I definitely just needed that reference photo to be able to look back at and 
make those little touch-ups and adjustments. So I it did go ahead and go through and do that. And originally I felt like I was just gonna go in and make those blacks a little bit blacker, but then that, you know, all oh, is just snowballs. And it's like, oh no, the wings need work. Oh man, look at these eyes, the lack dimension. You know, there's just so much that I didn't know or see a year and a half ago. And so it's so cool to go back in and rework this painting. I've done this one other time with another painting where it's been years and I went back in and I reworked it after the fact. And it's really, really exciting to see that change. It's kind of a bummer sometimes to, you know, say goodbye to that old painting and not have that like cataloged. But I have tons of photos. I've got it scanned in. It's cataloged. It was time for a change and I'm really happy with the way this bee uh, turned out. So it's been a really fun adventure to go through and do this and I really love the way that this turned out. So again, I took a creative risk. I acted and confident in myself, and because of that, I created a much more cohesive painting that I'm happy with, and I hope that you love it too. Let me know. All right, here's the original painting that I did in 2021. So you can see the difference and then here's the new one. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this and just seeing this makeover change on this bee. Be sure to uh, follow me on Instagram so you can stay up to date because I will be making prints and I will be making the original available as well. Like, subscribe and comment. Let me know what you think and I'll see you around.